Mark, it's awful good that you're here today. I'm happy to be here. Well, hi, I'm Dexter, and this is Finders Fair, and welcome to our uh, introduction to our next class series, Contemporary Local Artist Show Series, featuring Mark Nesmith. And he's here today to visit with us, tell us a little bit about his art. So welcome. Let's go on inside. Let's see how that works. Hi, and welcome again to Finders Fair. This is our Contemporary Local Artist Show Series that we have four times a year. The next one is going to be featuring Mark Nesmith, and it opens on February the 2nd, and we'll be here in the store on display the whole month until March the 2nd. And Mark is here now to talk with us about his art. Welcome, Mark. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm excited about it. Good. Um, Mark, you're, you're local. You've been here all your life? I was born here, went to school here, graduated from Lamar. Uh, after I graduated, I moved to Dallas. Lived there for um, close to 20 years, I guess. Really? And then moved back after I got divorced uh -huh. about four or five years ago. Well, we're glad you're here. I'm thrilled to be back. Well, your art is fascinating, and the way you capture light and, and movement, it's, 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 I hate to say anything's unique in the art world, but it, it's, it certainly is different than what you normally see, and there's so much expression in it. Um, how do you go about when you start a project, like, like this painting we're looking at, when you start it, do you have in your mind already what you're going to paint? Oh, sometimes. There's a starting point. And then, uh, you know, the, I always say I let the paint lead me where it wants to go once I get going. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I don't ever have a fully fleshed out. I've, I've got a starting point or an idea. Uh, I may have some reference material at some moment. This was actually related to a moment walking uh, with my girlfriend at the time, my wife, uh, Elizabeth, um, at the little pond near where, where we were living at the apartment and uh, just the coordination it seemed like the whole universe you know aligned at that moment and I was trying to get some way to get that across in, in the paint well, so so the scene was set the scene was real and then everything else just kind of jumps off from there well but do you paint I mean you can't obviously you couldn't paint at the instant you saw this oh no so is it from memory or photographs? Or? You know, I, I, it's, it's a combination of everything. I have photographs, I use sketches, uh, there's memory, uh, imagination, you know, everything. It's, it's, it starts in reality somewhere, and there's a, a jumping off point where, where imagination and memory takes over. I've never been content to just kind of capture what I see exactly. Well, yeah, I can see that, because I'm, I'm fascinated with clouds. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, every time there's a nice cloud, you know, I'm not one of these guys who tries to make something out of it. I just enjoy the, the mm -hmm. beauty of it. But I've noticed in your work that, that it's, it's like taking to another level. It's, it's, it's what's there, but it's enhanced. And is that from your memory? Yeah, in, in most cases. Um, you know, clouds and water have always been, skies, water have always been a, a particular kind of mm -hmm. obsession, I guess, <laughs> of mine. Um, and... and I, I always try to want to make them feel more tangible. You know, a lot of people, when they paint clouds, they want it to be wispy and airy and mm -hmm. light. And, and that's not how I see the world. I, I think everything, when I, when I go around, everything just has, like, substance. Like, I feel it, you know. And, and um, I, I want that to come across in when I paint. It's wonderful that you can do that. That's such a talent. Now, this is a lake back here in the background? Yeah, there's a little pond. There's a, it's an apartment complex. Not... Not just outside Beaumont, on a country village, and they have this little horseshoe pond with a little walking spot around it. They call the thing Cypress Lake. I have no idea why, because it's it's ring, you know it's surrounded by pine, pine trees. trees. <laughs> but I don't know where they got the name Cypress Lake from. But uh, you know the apartments weren't weren't really much to speak of. But the, it's settled on all this land. And so my favorite thing about it was there's all these spots that I could just well, go out and draw. Seeing and the paint. light come through the pines and. Um, I've noticed in your work that uh, it, I can see definitely that you live in East Texas. <laughs> and, and I think it, a lot of people identify with that. And I love the way you've expressed it. Mark, we're really excited about the show. Me too. And, and uh, we're going to have quite a few things on display. So on February the 2nd, we hope you'll come out. First Thursday, it's from 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock. There'll be quite a bit going on that evening, and Mark will be here to meet you and talk about his art. So 
please come out and see us, and thank you for watching. Thank you.